Well, Rick, thanks for taking some time out of your afternoon to, to join me for this uh, casual conversation. Um, for starters, can you share a little bit about your background, your history, uh, some of your interests, hobbies, talents? Well, I'm Ricky Wolf. I'm 17 years old. <laughs> Good start. I'm a four-year football player at Crespi. Um, I've got a 4.6 GPA. You got five AP classes this year, four the year before, three the year before that, and one year before that. Um, but on stuff that's not bragging, um, I'm from Northridge. Both my parents are, are mathematicians. Um, I like to play basketball in my off time. Yeah. I like to go skiing. And I love Crespi. Outstanding. Uh, what would be some words your friends use, would use to describe you? Well, <laughs> My friends are very facetious, so the words that they would use to describe me are probably not too flattering. Okay. But the words that I hope that they use seriously are more, you know, I hope they'd say that I'm an intense person, I'm a serious person. But, you know, someone who else has a little fun every now and then. I don't know if it's a kind person, too. Absolutely. Uh, so you've worked real hard during your four-year period here at Crespi, and uh, certainly you're going to have your options for college. Can you explain uh, or describe the process or why it was you decided to choose Columbia? Yeah. Well, you see, I'm from Northridge, as I said before, and not to knock my hometown, but it's a pretty boring place. Okay. You know, it, it's all one-story buildings for about 10 miles. And the most exciting thing is the mall. Um, and I went to, to New York, and, you know, you can just walk outside in the night and you, like you walk outside, you're in the middle of a city. You're in the middle of things that are happening. You're in the middle of, of, of everything. You're, I mean, you're in the middle of the world. I mean, New York is the crossroads of, of America, of the world, of everything. I mean, New York is definitely like, where it's happening. And, you know, I had a lot of options for college, you know, a lot of options. But what I wanted was not just classes. You know, I wanted that experience of having, like, a real city around me. I just felt like New York, uh, Columbia is definitely the best place for that. Great. Do you have some goals for college? Um, I think, yeah, anyone that knows me knows that I'm always finding new things to do. You know, I'm always joining some other club or whatever. And um, so I think, no, I don't have specific goals. You know, obviously I want to be a 4.0 student and all that kind of stuff, but I guess I have guidelines. You know, I want to have ideals, you know, I have the ideal that I want to keep finding new things out, you know, keep joining new clubs, keep, you know, doing new things, climbing new mountains, you know, both literally and figuratively. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love to hike. And I want to do a lot of math in college, I think. Okay. I want to major in math. Gotcha. So you have a real uh, mastery goal orientation in that you're able to apply knowledge that you gain in one subject area and apply it elsewhere. Can you share with us a little bit of how you've applied some of the things you've learned in the AP Comp Sci class <laughs> to maybe other areas? Oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. This is the physics calculator. Yes. So I wrote a program that, um, let me back up. I'm taking physics this year, the AP physics class. And Mr. Olson likes to assign homework, and I'm not big on doing homework. You know, it's just, it's just me. I know lots of guys love to do homework. Um, so what I did was that every time he gave us an equation, I wrote a program that solved that equation. And I wrote that all into one program. You can click what equation you want to solve it for. It's not pretty like on the, um, you know, like the windows, you know, little icon, but you type in a number and it'll bring you to an equation. You type in the numbers for each of the variables and it'll solve the equation for you. So that definitely expedites matters. Uh, both on homework and, and um, when I'm doing physics for fun, which is something that I like to do. Nice. Um, you know, I did a lot of work with springs, you know. Anyways, that, that's my own little thing, um, the physics calculator, that I was just really, like, it, it was great that I had this thing. And, you know, like, I definitely really like thank Mr. Hoy for giving me all these like Mr. Hoy's my computer science teacher um, for, for giving me all these tools to like do physics 
Nice. Now, you've also been working with a math professor at Cal State Northridge on the side on Wednesdays. Uh, can you share a little bit about what you're doing with, uh, with him and how that came about? Yeah. Well, see, I exhausted <clears throat> Presby's math curriculum because I took calculus BC last year. And so this year, as sort of a math alternative, um, I took computer science, but I like computer science. And obviously, you know, it's very useful, but it's not, you know, it's not math. Really, it, it's logic, and so I felt like I wanted to do math, but I already knew about the calculus. I already solved all the problems in the back of the calculus book. Like I did that last year. So this year I needed something new, and so my mom suggested that CISO has a great professor, um, Alberto Candel, Dr. Candel, and she said my mom is also a professor at CISO, but she doesn't like doing math as much as this guy does, and this guy just he has. Just an unbelievable repertoire. I mean, you can go from one subject to another subject, and he knows everything. He knows all these, these interesting, non-intuitive approaches to mathematics, and that was what um, I wanted. I wanted to do math that was like really out there. Right. I mean, not of course, but, you know, it's relatively simple stuff, but it's approaching math in a different way. I guess you might say. It's great. So, as you get closer to graduation, and you f reflect back over your four-year period of time here at Crespi, uh, what words of advice would you give yourself if you were an incoming freshman? Um, well, first and foremost, I'd tell the freshman rookie to suck up to Miss O'Connor because that's an important thing to do. Because tardy fees, like they definitely add up really quickly. <laughs> But okay. the second thing I tell them is to not take classes for granted because I definitely took f freshman English, freshman religion, probably freshman history pretty you know, easy on myself. And um, you know, I, I think that as I got older, I realized that it goes fast, you know, that, that, that things, you don't get a second chance at taking a class, you know, even if you get the right grade, which I did. You don't get the, um, you miss the class. You miss the purpose of taking the class and you just kind of drift through it. And I think that ninth grade Ricky would kind of flip it, you know, about that sort of thing. And I think he, uh, he could use a little bit of a, a grounding. <laughs> it's very good advice. Um, so can you share some of your fondest crespy moments, memories, uh, classroom experiences, courses? Well, all right. As a football player, the fondest moments are always after winning games, yeah. you know, because you work all year for this, and I mean, it's an arbitrary thing, you know, winning or losing a game, it's like one inch, you know, sometimes you win because of one inch, sometimes you lose because of one inch, but the reward from that one inch for that time, because you're so beat and tired and dead, and you feel great because of one inch, and um, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. You know, sometimes people are unhappy in a happy place, but like, you can't be unhappy after you win a game. Yeah. So that those are always, those are my fondest memories. Of course, I have lots of, you know, good times at Crespi, fooling around with friends at lunch and, you know, at parties. I'm not really at Crespi, but it's uh, with Crespi. Um, but favorite course is definitely Calculus BC last year yeah. with Mr. Selby because. It was Mr. Selby's first year teaching calculus, teaching calculus BC, and we only had four guys in class, uh, and so things were pretty open-ended. Right? So we all loved like it was a special class because everyone was just they loved math, myself included. Yeah, and we just got into we do like one problem in a day put a really difficult problem on the board and we all debate about how to do the problem in different ways to do it. And, um, and that I loved. You know, I mean, because, because you know, there, there are lots of classes that I probably, you know, I mean, we all did really well on the test, by the way. We got five for the test, so I hope nobody's worried about that. But, um, but you know, you come to certain classes and it's a little more rigid and structured. And you learn a lot. You learn a lot, but it's not quite as, you know, as fun. You know, I mean, just Cactus BC was just so much fun because things were so loose and 
we just like messed, you know. A yeah, strong collaborative spirit. Yeah, I would say there's a strong communal spirit, a strong collaborative spirit, a strong uh, comedic spirit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one of the benefits of a small school for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if you had to sum up your experience here at Crespi in a few words, uh, what would be those words that you would use? Uh, very fast. Very fast? Very fast. Um, because, you know, you talk about Todd in the ninth grade rookie, like, he's just, like, just outside. Yeah. Like, he might just be out there on the lunch if you could go there and catch him. Um, it went really fast, because you know, there were a lot of good times, you know. I mean, the bad times went fast, thankfully, too, but, um, but, but things passed. Uh, and I mean, obviously, there are lots of other adjectives. You know, great, good, marvelous, yeah. excellent. Like, a lot of other words describe Crespi. But, um, but I think the one that really comes to mind is how fast it went. Yeah, that's great. Um, well, thank you so much for your time today, Rick. Is there any final remarks or comments that you have as we kind of conclude here? Yeah, I guess um, shooting ball raw, like sell pride. Sell pride. Thanks so much, Rick. Best of luck. Thank you.